In this video, I'm going to show you how to apply this Afton look to your texts and logos, and we're also going to be giving it that paper grunge texture using my brand new Xerox plugin. If you still haven't grabbed yourself a copy, check the first link in the description down below. But now let's get right into it. The first thing we're going to do is create a new comp. Make sure to make it 4K. And once that's done, we can go ahead and import our logo. I'm just going to scale it up and add a fast box blur to get rid of that edge sharpness. As you can see, this looks much smoother. Now we're going to create a solid and this is going to be our Aftone effect. So I'm just going to name it that. And the first effect we're going to add to that exact layer is going to be the grid effect. Uh, we can go ahead and quickly change the color to black. Now, if you're using a 4K timeline, use these corner settings. So the first one is going to be 1935 and the second one is going to be 1095. This is going to give us the perfect density. Now change the border to 18. Make sure the feather is set to 8 for both values and then set the opacity to around 80%. As you can see, we already have sort of a aftone effect, but we're going to take it even further. So add the CC reptile effect, set everything to 3000, and then we can hand it off with a transform effect, uh, which we're going to out click the position value, add a wiggle expression set to 10 speed and 5 intensity. And we can copy this expression and paste it onto the rotation properties as well as the scale. But this time around, change the intensity to one instead of five. You'll definitely want to create another solid layer that's going to act as our black background. So put it at the bottom and the cherry on top is going to be to change the rotation of the aftone layer to around 45 degrees. As you can see, this is going to transform the effect and make it look a lot more authentic. And this is essentially how you set up the aftone effect. I like to take it even further by adding the Xerox plugin on top of it, which is really going to give us that nice paper grunge. So I'm just going to select my comp, hit confirm and let it do its thing. As you can see, we already have something that looks pretty cool, but we're going to play around with the threshold knob. So I'm just going to lock my RGB channels, pull it back a little just to get some of that exposure back. And as you can see, when I zoom in on it, there is a lot more texture going on. We're starting to see the vision. I'm going to set the texture to paper three, which is my preferred one. We're going to adjust the threshold just to make sure the exposure looks fine. Play around with the scale a little bit. Um, and as you can see now, when I zoom on it, this thing looks absolutely beautiful already. Xerox really adds the perfect amount of detail and breaks it up in such a organic way. I really dig this look. We could probably leave this here. Everything's fully animated and looking great. But what's really cool about this setup is we can build out complex looks in just a few clicks by adding various effect or even just playing around with the scale of the actual halftone layer itself, which is going to completely change the entire look. I highly suggest you save this effects chain as a FFX preset. That way you can apply aftone looks to whatever you want in just one click. But anyway, guys, that'll be pretty much it for today. I hope you all enjoyed. And if you'd see yourself using the Xerox plugin in your own edits, check the first link in the description down below where you'll find the Xerox plugin alongside all of my other tools for After Effects. And on that note, I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.